All right. Hi, Etta. What you got there in that bucket? Uh, in this bucket, I have a mix of potting mix, potting soil, and sand. Uh huh. Um, Just... I would say two parts potting soil to one part sand, probably. Yeah. And it's just play sand you can get at the hardware store. Yeah. Just, just to get because the potting mix actually doesn't have any soil in it. It's just organic matter, so we want to give it some, some yeah. soil to grow into. Professional growing mix and sand. Yeah. And then we we wet it slightly, just so that it, it has a little bit of clotting factor. <laughs> C L O D D. Yeah. So it's not dry. It's not dry, but it's not damp. Right. It's not. It's not dripping water. I off wouldn't of it. describe it as wet. Right. So, okay. So we're gonna plant a couple. We're gonna transplant a couple tomatoes that we just got. They're in these tiny little pots, and they're very tall. So they need to be potted up. We don't. We don't. We could plant them in the ground right now, but we don't have. We're not ready. You can see the garden over there. It's not ready. <laughs> it's not ready yet. It's got a hose all over it. So shout out to our friends at Green Things Farm for giving us these tomato starts. Yeah. So what that's just going to do is put a little bit of soil in the bottom of this pot, maybe only an inch or two. Okay. Okay. And then she's going to take one of the transplants. And before we plant it, we need to break the roots, the root ball up, because if we leave them in that shape, they're going to continue to grow kind of in that shape and around in a circle and kind of bind the plant. So she's going to use her hands to break up the root ball and free up those roots a little bit, spread them out so they're going in all different directions. And it's not, it's, you, you know, I can hear some snapping right now. It's okay. The plant's not going to care about that. Okay. Root ball is broken. Okay. So then... We're going to plant this a lot deeper than you might think we're going to plant it. So that's why there's only a couple inches of soil down in the bottom. Do you want to get a shot of that? Yeah. It doesn't. It's a little too dark. but So we're going to cover most of the, the bottom of that plant with soil um, because tomatoes are actually really good at turning uh, their stems into actually into roots. And they'll grow root little little tiny roots off of the I'm main stem there. I'm going to plant this leaf down there. Yeah. Um, and they... Tomatoes really don't mind doing this, and it's going to give you a much stronger base for the plant later on. Um, in fact, when we bury it in the ground, we're going to we're going to bury it deeper than than that soil line too. We're going to do this again, basically. Yeah. Which means I'm going to have to dig a really deep hole. Right. <laughs> and you want to leave <laughs> you want to leave at least an inch in the top. Um, for water, you know, when you're watering, you want the water to collect in the pot. Um, and just, yeah, make a nice smooth surface for the tomato to, or for the water to land on. Uh, yeah. and there, it's ready to go. Soon we'll have black cherry tomatoes. And we'll be able to, uh, make my favorite, um, salad that has three different sizes of mozzarella cheese balls in it. With black cherry tomatoes and basil. So stay tuned for the next video about planting in the ground.